I got this look. Stay tuned and let's get to it. I'm going to show you guys how to get from this to this. Step one. I'm going to start with the outfit. After step one is step two. For me, that's gonna be my hair. Got all of this craziness going on, so I'm just gonna straighten it. I always freshen my hair up with heat protector, and for heat protectors, I use Silk Elman. After putting heat protector in, I always start from the bottom and then I just work my way up like this and today i'm not really about to do like a photo shoot or anything too special i'm just gonna go to the mall and get some errands done this is like an everyday thing so i just put half down and then half up i use chi this is just like a really old strainer i honestly need to get a new one but this is just an old chi that i've had and then i use I always start from the top and then I kind of go through it a few times and then bring it down. You know, if this is your first time here, might as well just click that subscribe button while we're here on the subject. I'm chilling. You guys that know me are probably like, where is this bitch at? But I've just been traveling... And it's been honestly so much fun. Like, I've been on go since, like, January. I actually quit my job. I put my two weeks in. It was a serving job. I have so much more that I want to do with my life. And, like, I just have so much creative energy that I was just like, this isn't really for me. Like, it pays my bills, of course, which, you know, like, everybody has fucking bills, so... You gotta make us you gotta make your money some type of way but basically I had saved us some money from that job and I had a lot of things go on and a lot of obstacles that I have to overcome throughout this past year and I started the year off in January I went from Ecuador which is my country all my family lives there besides like my mom and like a few cousins but basically all my family is from ecuador and yeah i was over there for the holidays and i came back after new year's me and my boyfriend spent it in ecuador so after we spent new year's in ecuador we came back he had to go to work and he was working in san francisco so that's when I decided to leave my job. Bum, bum, bum. I have not worked a corporate job in a few months, but it has been taking its toll because I still have so many obstacles, but it's okay because we're gonna push through them. And you know what, we're strong and we got, we got purpose and we're not gonna give up on our fucking dreams. Oh. I went to California. I was in San Francisco. I ended up being there for a few weeks with my honey and then came back to Florida. Got some stuff done in Florida and then I went back away from Florida. I was kind of right in between Milwaukee and Chicago, so it was like a good area. Um, so I had two big cities near me and throughout this whole time I've just been like networking, doing photo shoots, trying to do more makeup looks, um, just trying to come up with bigger things for life. After California, Illinois, um, Tennessee, then I went back to Florida. You know, Florida's home, so when I go back, I have like my manager there, I have like some paid gigs, it's like, 
I come back to Florida and get things more together. <laughs> now I'm in Denver. If you guys smoke or what, but Denver has some crazy weed. Like you can get ounces for the low ski. Just Colorado in general is just so beautiful. <sighs> guys, do I have story time? I went hiking. Like the first two times were beautiful. It was well all the times, but this last time that i went oh my god i'm not even shitting you like it was an 11 mile trail like round trip like you walk there and it's like five and a half miles and you walk back and it's another five and a half miles we walked all the way to get there and the sun was going down so we were like almost the last people that like entered the park and we didn't even realize and it took us five hours to get back we got there at 3.30 and it took us until 8.30 to get back to the car. And the only reason that we got back to the car as quick as we did was because I literally was flipping out, guys. I just want to go home, cuddle, eat. I just want to go to sleep. It's been a long day. Before we know it, literally, like, we're about, like, less than two miles away from the car and from the parking. And we see a fucking mountain lion. <laughs> My heart literally dropped. Yeah, I, I peeled. I dipped. Whatever you want to call it, I got the fuck out of that situation. I ran the opposite way. It turns out they're not ferocious and it did not follow me and my boyfriend and we kept fucking walking and we have no cell phone service mind you for the past five hours we're solely depending on this little map and by the end of it this map takes us to like a part that we can't really like identify so we're like where do we go and my boyfriend's like let's just stay to the left I, like i literally started bugging i was flipping out bruh i called I'm not, I'm not even playing. I called 9 fucking one one and I was like, yo, I just saw a fucking mountain lion. I need a state trooper to take me back because it's already getting dark. And she's like, she's like, are you lost in the woods? I was like, yes, I'm fucking lost. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can come find me. I need to get out of here. I was not trying to die, honey. Um, That's for sure. And I was not trying to be eaten by a mountain lion. So a park ranger pulls up within a minute of me calling them my boyfriend goes up to the park uh ranger and he's like hey how far are we from parking he's like you're about three quarters of a mile away from it so almost still a mile and it's already dark so i'm on the phone with 911 and then he's like you know what just get in the car i'll just take you guys back to the front so he was cool and then he, we get in the car and this guy literally he's like well it's a good thing that i picked you guys up because at this the park ranger said that there was coyotes laughing like going crazy he had the window down and he said he heard fucking coyotes that shit was just crazy like when he told us that i was like oh hell no i'm so blessed that that guy came at the right time because if it wasn't for him we would have walked the rest of the mile and it would have been pitch black and we could have died by a fucking animal so i was so happy that we didn't die but that was the craziest story and it wasn't like the animals were close to us, but the fact that we like saw them that close up was just crazy. Like you should come out here and fucking blaze it up while you go hiking or go zip lining, horseback riding. There's like so much stuff that you could do. So you should comment and let me know where you guys are from because if I'm ever in your city, then what's good? It just works out. If you support me, I will support you. Also, I went to 420 Fest. 420 Fest was lit. You weren't allowed to smoke, but literally the whole crowd was like hotboxing and it was just a good time. I went with my friend and it was fun. Well, after step two of my hair, I'm going to go on to step three in makeup. Because I just feel like doing natural makeup, I'm not going to do any foundation. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just going to call it a day after that. So, 
this pretty much is gonna be my bra routine I always start with a light color so I kind of start to shadow my eyebrow I'm just gonna use an angled brush like this I'm gonna start a little bit lighter This is how I get the brows that you guys like. Yeah, I had like some block like eyebrows and then I would get like really thin. <laughs> like it was really fucking bad. If you guys knew me in high school, you know. That was like up until I learned what eyebrow threading was <laughs> and then that changed your girl's life. I got a face I could kind of work with, you know? And then I started experimenting with makeup and I was like, I was like, is that me? <laughs> That's me, bitch. And yeah, I started building confidence. It's all experiences that I like learn from. And if you guys are watching and you're like younger, you're going to learn every experience. Like you're just going to keep growing and growing and you're just going to become a better person or more bitter. So what do you want to pick? You want to be a dull person? You want to be a bright person who can bring energy to a room. You feel me? So you got to pick what you want to do with your life. And some people want to do the second one because they just want to settle. I don't know. But not me. So I'm going to be this side. You can pursue what you want to pursue. If you want to pursue cooking, then pursue cooking. Be like the next chef. Don't ever think like the industry is oversaturated for you. Just go and do it, honey. Just go do it. School, if it's for fitness, if it's for whatever it's for in relationships, in your career, you just got to be confident. That is the key. You have so much potential and it's all just right here. You have all this potential and you just gotta let it out, okay? <laughs> and basically, this is just like a really dry mascara, so it's not working very well. But with my mascara, I curl it from the top. And then I push it up, curling it so that it's always in a curled motion. And this is just with mega length. Then I use collab. And then I do the same thing. I just curl from the bottom and then I push my lashes. I'm going to use Milani's Prime. It's just a primer, but it honestly gives you like a nice little highlight. It doesn't look like much, but if you step out in the sun, you can see. It does help. I'm going to use Makeup Forever, the highlight. It's just a slight little glow. So I just get the brows really flaky with this beautiful drugstore NYX concealer bless cutting these bitches and I just blend out the edges you guys this is the finished look in the description I will list the lashes Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe because I will have lots more content. Love you guys. Bye.